Moving in, now they're ready to go. 1400 the journey. Set for action. Favourite warrior of justice, they're off now and one short was sluggish coming out but Greco, he began brilliantly and one short gathered pace quickly after the start. Harry Thomas was away well, warrior of justice up there settling down into fourth place early on from pickup line, six been spent down on the fence. A length and a half away then through the first 350 gradual incline and then Anvil Green truly gold. Grey Enigma back there and wide and last of all is Slick Mover as they come down the river side of the track with 900 left to travel and Greco steadied them up in front and led the way. Harry Thomas moved up now to be clearly second. One short down on the inside after that slow beginning. Found himself in the box seat and then Pike had the favourite. Warrior of Justice travelling fourth a length away. Over on the inside next of all is Sixpence Spent going easily from gradual incline. Pick up line three deep trailed by Grey Enigma. Then Truly Gull back in the centre. Anvil Green getting shunted right back on the inside and Slick Movers last coming towards the home corner. 400 left to go. Greco's about to open up and leads them for the judge. Harry Thomas second a length and a half to the top weight. One short. Warrior of Justice called upon. Sixpence spent back inside of him looking to get clear at the 200. Greco tackled by Harry Thomas. Warrior of Justice one short behind them. It's Greco. He's fighting them off. He's still in front. Greco from Harry Thomas. Sixpence spent. It's all the way for Greco. Greco beat Harry Thomas and Sixpence spent. On the outside Warrior of Justice probably fourth in front of one short. Anvil green behind those with truly gold gradual incline grey enigma slick mover second from last and the tail ender when they'd pulled up pick up line greco the winner jerry noski aboard the john botel trained greco the son of almaher at good odds 24 60 4 60 and had been placed its last couple of runs a bunbury winner four starts ago his form had been OK, but punters really switched off to Greco. But uh, Jerry Noski jumped him away brilliantly. He found the front and he was able to hold off the challenges of Harry Thomas. Six been spent and uh, Warrior of Justice was a plugging run and the same under the 60 kilos for one short who just couldn't quicken. 123.93. There's the time. 123.93 for Arnold Ramirez, the six year old. Greco with his seventh win from 38 runs, a son of Almaher out of Pompeii, ridden by Jerry Noski for John Botell, 21.74.20 to Harry Thomas. Another solid effort here by Scandal Keeper from Arangi Springs, Ross Price for Yona Bell, $2 even, and three sixpence spent for the Giadresco team, and ridden by Mitchell Pateman, $2.10. 35 3 is the sectional he really gave under the vigour, the hands and heels vigour of Jerry Noski. She just put a couple of timely ones around his behind to keep him going. And uh, Greco certainly pinned the ears back and he found the line strongly today and uh, was able to, I think at the end, comfortably hold Harry Thomas. Sixpence spent, took a bit of time to get clear. He was back inside of the favourite warrior of justice, similar to the situation last start. And when he did get clear, he got to the line OK, but it was Greco's day and he reigned supreme. 12-2-3-1. One. one short has run fourth just in front of Warrior of Justice in the pick four. Next of the day, the first leg of the quaddy, the Ascot Canteen. John Lug handicap, it's over the 1,000 metres at 3.50 and no alterations there. Gareth Hall is about to join us down there in the yard. Here is the place getters prepare to make their way back. And uh, the winner, a Greco for John Botell, and he's now uh, over there with Gareth. And this has been a good performance and maybe uh, went into the race there at longer odds than he should have been, Gareth. Thanks for that, Darren. John Botell, we had a quick chat to him before the race, and now we can have a chat to him after the race. But he jumped and runs a day, and he never really liked getting beat once Jerry went for him. No, he, um, he doesn't like being bottled up too much. So when Jerry said that she could get him out of the gate pretty quick, I knew that um, if he got in front, that'd be hard to run him down. So he is a bit fresh at the moment, so a bit, bit of um, time between runs. But, yeah, he boxed on really good. And Jerry seems to be the key to him as well. She gets on well with this boy. Yeah, she does. She's, like I say, she gets him out of the gates the best that anybody has. And um, when he landed a length in front, I was pretty happy. Let's hope he can go on with it now. Yeah, well... He's been up a while, but I just he's such a good doer. We'll just keep him going while he's going. Congratulations. Job well done. Thank you. There we go. There is uh, John Botel and uh, Jerry Noski. I think she's underrated for mine, Brittany. I like, 
I can't believe she doesn't get more rides, especially in town, as she disproves her class there with Greco straight on the bunny and dictating terms to lead all of the way. Absolutely. I think Jerry might be the secret to this horse. She has such a good association with Greco. Jerry, that was a really nice win. Yeah, it was. It was a really strong win. Now, he doesn't always get out of the gates like a gazelle, but today he got out nice. He was off and running. Yeah, he was. He was really fresh. It's been a few weeks between runs, so I thought as long as he's not too fresh and naughty that he'd get away pretty quick. Is this the secret to this horse to lead? The last time that you won on him, you were out in front. Is that where he needs to be, just bowling out in front to get the victory? Um, he sort of does, but I mean, if someone went quicker than him, he'd easily sit, but he just doesn't breathe as well when he's sort of held up too much, so... Yeah, we just let him run. <laughs> a nice ride winner for Johnny Botel. Yeah, it's awesome. Congratulations, Jerry. Oh, thank you. So Greco wins for Botel. Linoski in the fourth defeats Harry Thomas. A so one speed dominated there. Sixpence spent third, one short fourth. 12, 2, 3 and 1. We'll be back before the next race here at Ascot, which will kick off the quaddy.